Yeah, I just started typing up something about the skin I live in so I'd remember what to say, and it was like, oops. So oh, wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry. In in. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we're here. So, what so here's that? what I want to say about the skin I'm in. I think this is a movie that has problems both big and small. And it, first of all, it looks great. And it has beautiful imagery. And the people, like, it's like got a preponderance of either beautiful people or above average good looking people and they're photographed really well. It's sort of glam. There's a glamorous sheen over the whole thing that I, that I enjoyed and I enjoyed watching this movie. Um, but as far as problems, the small ones, I'll, I'll start with the small ones. It is so convoluted. It is needlessly convoluted for what you eventually find out this movie is about. It has all these subplots that are barely relevant, if at all. And, and I'll just run through them real fast. The housekeeper is Antonio Banderas's mother. That's poignant, I guess, but it almost feels like it could be a whole nother movie because it doesn't figure into it too well. She has that last line, like, I told you so, which that, rings, that rings nicely because he she is his mother, you know? But other than that, did, it, did he need, did, she, did the housekeeper need to be his mother? I don't know. Um, it's a lot for this movie, which is about something else. Then there's Banderas's character's wife, who almost dies in a car, a fiery car crash, and then jumps out a window later when she sees how burned her face is in the mirror. Um, only tangentially relevant to our story. Then there's the bank robber. We talked about him before the recording started. Uh, what do we call him? Oh, oh, oh put some boots. boots. Actually, that was Jim's contribution. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Jim. Okay, the half brother shows up unannounced. He he's a bank robber or something on the lam, and he's in disguise. And he was at carnival, so he's dressed like a tiger. Mm-hmm. And he ties up his mom, and then he tries to rape Vera, the girl that Antonio Banderas is holding prisoner for some reason. Uh, well, he doesn't try. No, okay, he doesn't try. But he does. Uh, dude, I enjoyed that while it was happening because it was exciting and it was crazy and wacky and whatever. But it's like it lifts right out. It has no bearing on anything in this movie. It yeah, but his costume was so awesome, dude. Yeah, Just him yeah. Showing up like that. And so was... I was kind of enjoying this thing on a sort of an L level where it was like. I think I hate this, but I think I love it because it's so wacky and all this shit's happening. But I think there's a bigger problem with it. Also, by the way, the number of flashbacks and flash forwards and title cards that they have to use. And it's all contrived because he doesn't want to tell you who Vera is until the middle of the movie when we do find out who Vera is. And holy shit. All right. (laughs) Then we find out what the movie's actually about, which is spoiler alert. Human centipede two. What? Human centipede two. Oh, oh, or sensitivity program. It's a sensitivity program. It's oh, the sensitivity oh program, Scott. I know. I know. I know. That's what you think I picked it. It was like, okay. The f- All right. All right. So, <laughs> so for the audience, if there is one, Scott and I wrote a thing, uh, and you'll see why it's relevant when I tell you that. Spoiler alert: Antonio Banderas ca- uh, kidnaps the young man who assaulted his daughter, and in his decision is to punish him by giving him a sex change operation. Yes, a rather complete okay. one. Yes, a co- yeah. very good. It turns him into the most beautiful good woman one. I've ever seen. She's gorgeous. <laughs> so, Scott and I did write a screenplay called Sensitivity Program, which approaches this same concept from a very different angle. Um, and so, it gave us something to think about here. It, it gave me something to think about because we thought about it a lot. We thought well, about the yeah, very idea. For about half a decade. It's ridiculous. And so, well, Banderas's character never says why he's doing this or why he chose that as the pun- punishment. I think the audience can kind of jump to this conclusion of like, okay, well, he's going to make this guy walk in a woman's shoes and experience life as a woman, literally walk in her shoes. Um, Except then he made her too hot. Poetic justice. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but then she does. She never goes out into society. We never see her actually live as a woman because he keeps her captive in a room and nobody else sees her. Mm-hmm. And then I think the biggest sin of this movie is that suddenly uh, Vera, who was Vicente, right? Vicente. Yeah. Vera goes from being this panicked person who wants to escape to falling in love with Antonio Banderas. Or does he? Or does he? Okay, so motivations. We can question yeah, the motivations, okay. but we really didn't get any time because it just was like a flip and a switch. To me, that was like, let me check my notes, but <laughs> we never see the shift on happen on camera. We don't know when or why Vera changed her tune 180 degrees or see how Banderas caused this to happen or how Banderas reacted when it did happen. All we get is one scene where the housekeeper mother says, 
if I take her shopping, she might run away. And Bandera says, no, she won't. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, how the hell do we get to this point? How do we get from point A to point B? That should have been the movie. That to me was the meat of the story that we should have seen. And it isn't on screen. The, the center is missing. Huh. Interesting theory. That's the bottom of the page. Damn, that's a lot. You but, thought about this way more. Maybe. Yeah, I, I found it. I know. Have you seen any Pedro Maldivar aside from this? This was my first. Okay. I thought of it was a, this film was a weird collision of the kind of films he makes, which are really kind of like um, Baroque and convoluted family stories. Yep. About, this was that. Yeah. And that was, that's kind of that weird background going on with the mom and, and the wife and the daughter and Soap all opera. Is, it's usually yeah, he does, a lot lighter yeah, it's than this, very, but it's there. It's very melodrama. It's like, yeah, he's yeah. like, he's like the, you know, Spanish Douglas Sirk, but like twisted version. Well, like, said, and that's, that's why I brought up L because I kind of was like reacted against it at the first. And then I was like, Oh, okay. When they, when they, when the kid yeah. showed up with the, with the tiger costume on, I was like, oh, okay. All yeah. right. And it yeah, turns like it, 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 the great twist in the middle of the film is it turns into a Frankenstein story, right? Yeah, right. Like, and at least and, and and unlike Ex Machina, at least this this person has scars on on her skin yeah, for right. a while. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I know that's different though. That's a robot, but uh, robot dude. Yeah, I know, mm -hmm. but I still think he's 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 got like that fake skin. Anyway, uh, yeah, Banderas is a really good scientist. <laughs> yeah, I've seen most of Amodovar's films, and I I love most of them. I think they're getting worse as he progresses but or just crankier yeah mm -hmm. but this is a pretty um, cranky film in a lot of ways and this is a, a this is a weird one for him because he doesn't typically do yeah like scott said most of them are kind of more family relationship oriented mm -hmm. and this this this, this kind of went a little darker sci-fi this is yeah, like right. atyp atypical film yeah, yeah it is. right it's but that's why i mentioned i think this would be a perfect double bill with eyes without a face because it's i think oh, it's, it dude. almost feels like a homage to that you know absolutely it is an homage i think he says at one point during the interviews when they made the film is about that's on the i need to see it list i haven't yeah, seen it eyes without a face was part of oh, it oh it's fantastic it, yeah it it's is. one of those movies that you you watch and then you 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 relook up the year because you're like no way were they making movies like this at that time this is too yeah. good it's, yeah, it's when too I wrote, like, advanced in so many I, ways yeah when i wrote up eyes without a face i mentioned this is the logical conclusion of that idea is put forth in eyes that face okay and right. that it's about a it's about a scientist who kind of like wants things a certain way and doesn't have any morals and uh and you know and it, it, it he's serving a purpose i think a lot of his motivation uh was his daughter um is that kind of the the loss of her he blamed on vincent vicente mm -hmm. and it, yes. it also he wanted his wife back who died in the fire that caused him so he had he had guilt he had a different kind of guilt for his daughter and anger and vengeance and it all kind of came together and making uh Vera. and lust and lust well yeah. yeah lust i don't know if that was that's okay that was going to happen I but you know he apparently he apparently remade later. his wife right yeah yes. i mean essentially yeah so that's and, yeah, they kept and, saying she looks like her she looks like her they never were explicit about it but we like, yeah his mom said he really right should have made her look like that that's going to cause you problems <laughs> every every emote of our film looks so visually gorgeous mm -hmm. like he has this oh, way it, with color yeah um, yeah it looked and, great and this is actually his least sort of colorful film and i mean that quite literally yeah mm -hmm. like uh um, isn't saturated like his other films are yeah yeah his others his other films you know the the, the set design the cinematography mm -hmm. the lighting and and all of that was good here as well of course it's but it's so lush in his other ones he really brings out he uses so much color primary colors just all sorts mm -hmm. of colors um and and yeah he, it's just it's always a, a a visual feast when you watch one yeah. of his films it's just sumptuous and the thing is one of the things i noticed was the costumes and the sets just that you want to live in that guy's house it was so yeah. gorgeous <laughs> you know it was just real well done and the artwork was very perfect and the furniture was perfect and the, the, the you know the very the, the dresses women wear in this thing are just like everything's perfect you know yeah. it's really nice yeah it looks great. like there's just so much good imagery like behind chris right now behind scott right now yeah um when he licks that screen was so disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I knew we were in for it at that point. <laughs> um, you know, and, and, and just, just God bless a motivar for all the nudity and fucking and sex. <laughs> well, he, doesn't, he doesn't shy away from that. That's for sure. There's um, the clip. All, and also right. motivar was our motivar was, you know, a, like a famous, famous for, you know, being in the art, the, 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 the Spanish art scene and the gay culture in the eighties and nineties, you know, he's a real, you know, he, he that was just his world, you know. Yeah. 
Uh, I think Chris was I the only one who was like super slow on the uptake on the reveal. Like it took me a while. To, like, wait, what's happening? Yeah, you no, mean I, the reveal the that, Miss, I, that she was he? Yeah, I, I because of the way he chose to kind of stagger the timelines. Oh, I, it's not. It's not clear to the middle. Like, no, well, I, I I don't know that I totally picked up on it. Until no, I the first time I saw this movie, I didn't get until she went back to the fucking shop at the end. Oh yeah, my I, god, I was totally wow slow on that one. Wait a minute, but but before that, you get to see uh, Vicente wake up on the table and say, "What did you do to me?" And it's like I gave you a vagina plastic. <laughs> yeah, oh, you're but, right. You're right. You're I right. didn't. Put I, two I, two I, two I guess. I still I guess. didn't put two and two together. Oh, I just loved, I wow, loved the, that's effective, I, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think he's an effective filmmaker, and this is an effective film because maybe I did get that, but I, I saw this in the theater when it was still the Rialto over on Summerfield, and um, oh, like I, I just remember when she goes back to the store at the end it was maybe I did know, but that's when it hit me. You know what I mean? I think he just did a good job of like the way they looked at her. I don't know, it just hit me then. Yeah, thought, in a way, that's the was, most affecting moment for v Vicente Vera's character mm -hmm. in dealing oh. with the transformation because she almost doesn't deal with it mm -hmm. right. on screen before that point. Yeah. Also, it was wish fulfillment too. He was like, he was teasing the girl he worked with, Christina, I think it was. It was, And she said, I'm not going to go out with you unless you wear that dress there. So it's like, I'll, I'll wear that dress. Why don't you wear it? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, so yeah. She, and so she did. And uh, she came up full circle. That, that, one. that was a masterstroke of set it up in act one, pay it off in act <laughs> yeah, three. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know what's funny? Tad's looking like I was looking in the last video for the first <laughs> <laughs> comment about Because <laughs> I hated Should... the two movies last week. Tad's been very quiet. Uh -huh. I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> it wasn't. It's not bad. It's not a bad movie. Like it's just I didn't enjoy it. I um I thought she was a robot for the first, I don't know, 25 minutes of the movie. And then I was like, uh, she's not a robot, something else is going on here. And then as soon as uh he kidnaps um uh as soon Vicente. as he kidnaps Vicente, it's like, oh, that's what this is. And um Yeah, I didn't get that the first time I saw it. And then the him. um the brother annoyed the ever-loving shit out of me the entire time he was on screen. I thought it was Which poorly was acted. I, I thought it was poorly acted. I thought it was poorly written. I didn't care. Um, there's Antonio was Banderas. Puss in you mean? No. Um, the, yo, yes, whatever. The, the, yeah, the, Puss in Boots. El Tigre. The, the bank robber. Yeah, El Tigre. I think his name was the like guy, Zika? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy who robbed the the um, jewelry store, yeah, right, yeah. I, the but, jewelry store. He too. just comes out of nowhere into the movie for no particular reason and completely hams up the acting and then gets shot. And who? For some reason, I thought you would like that. I don't know why. Because yeah. he, when he walks up in a, in a in a cat costume, I was like, "This is hilarious." Yeah. What did I say? If it, it was, you out. know what? If it, it was funny, out. if it was funny, I would have liked it. But it's not funny. Oh, it's, I loved, it. I, loved it. I thought I it was. I thought it was really it. funny. I thought it, yeah. it was. It was like this dark funny. Like he was just disgusting. And he's like, mm -hmm. he's like, let me in. I want some food. And then he's fucking eating. And he's like, oh god damn it, that's my robbery. And I don't know. It was. Just, I liked it. Antonio Barris Banderas at his most inert. He was. He yeah? was. Yeah. He didn't have. He didn't display a lot of emotions in this. Uh, movie. Yeah, I think. I, I think he did a very good job of being quietly menacing, though for oh, yeah. most of it like you the when she when she cuts her throat and he just walks over and picks her up and carries her to the operating theater i'm a plastic like, surgeon i'm gonna have to do something about this right. it's like i'm not letting I, you, I know, I'm, yeah. fix this. I'm not letting you die because i put too much work into this right uh, that you know his, his whole house and workshop were so sweet like the uh, whole setup it was just so eerie and freaky and cool also they did they made a big deal out of the fact that that Vera's skin was like burn proof. Yeah, because they're yeah, but they kind of dropped that pretty I early. thought that was gonna pay off near the end. You know, it was like it almost felt like it was a beginning of a superhero story. Yeah, I thought, yeah, she's gonna walk through a fire and kill him or something like that, but yeah. it never happened. Exactly. Yeah. But, uh, uh -huh. I, I wish I'd had time to read a um uh the, there's so this is based on a novel, and I wish I'd had time to read a plot summary of Tarantula, the novel that it's based on, mm -hmm. because I would be very interested to know if the plot is more cohesive 
in that mm-hmm. um because i i know that people have said this is fairly loosely based on the novel mm-hmm. but i i still would be interested to know what the differences are um yeah. between the two because it, it to me it did feel like somebody making a, a movie out of a book and then just forgetting to shoot the middle of it <laughs> yeah, or maybe they didn't have enough money or time or whatever well, there's been you very said this couldn't be seven hours ever... long there's been very few times where the you know the film is is as good or better than the novel. I mean, let's just be well. Honest. I'm not saying as good or better. I'm just saying a more coherent story. I, like, saying, I think yeah. if if some of those sub extraneous subplots like Tiger Boy, if that stuff had been taken out, that two hour running time could have spent more time on the main story, and we could have yeah. seen, like I said, that transition of how she got there, and we could have been questioning, well, is she sincere? If she's changing her tune and starting to like Antonio Banderas's character. You know, that we, have never, I, we I, never I, got I, that opportunity. Right. That could have been a different story if they did it linear, like it actually started, everything was in order, it happened. Yeah. And it would turn into a weird yeah. love story at the end. That would have been, yeah. very, been a different film. Although I think that going back to what Tad said, this is probably a novel that was a lot different and then and Pedro Amaldivar, Amaldivar did. <laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, so he put a lot of like the melodramatic, melodramatic elements and a lot of family plots and a lot of like weird deaths and things like that in there to kind of, it kind of, it's almost like sleight of hand. He's like putting that in there to kind of throw you off a little bit. Yeah. But it's all, you know, it's kind of, I think he, I think, I think probably, it is to obscure, to obscure what the reveal is going to be to make you think about other things. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to, yeah. I want to, I do want to bring up one thing uh, that John said that I disagree with, which mm-hmm. is that. Um, I do think it matters that uh, the housekeeper is the mother. Okay. Um, she wouldn't go along with this if she wasn't. Yeah. She's oh, already right. given up. She's already given up on the other son. Right. This is the son that she raised. Uh-huh. This is the son that she loves. She will do anything to try to keep him alive. Yeah. And, right. yeah. and she knows. I think that's a good point. She yeah. knows and also that, that Vera is keeping him alive. Well, wow, that, I didn't and by, catch that. And, by, and maybe you don't need the tiger guy, but <laughs> I mean, but but by that rationale, like showing the contrast between the two brothers and making her more on Antonio's side, uh, you know, you then can that's that. a reason for having the tiger boy. Yeah, because... like I don't necessarily think get rid of the tiger boy part. I just didn't like the acting in it. Like no, I didn't, I didn't, I, 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 I didn't I, like how he did it. I disagree there because there was like an animal like quality to that person, not enough character. Mm-hmm. It was too. It was. It, it I, wasn't enough one way or the other. I, I give. I give Amodovar and and these actors a lot of credit because there were there were a couple of scenes where I thought when they dealt with the intimacy, that as a as an actor and a director, I was really really taken with like, like the first time that she's in the room with Antonio and and he's trying to leave and she's like I'll be with you, and they're like not quite kissing but they almost are and his mm-hmm. mouth is on her nose, and then later. <laughs> And then later, uh, the the tiger guy is basically like eating her jaw, you know, like oh yeah, it was really animal biting her teeth, yeah, yeah, Yeah. like there, like those moments like that, I think are brilliant direction, brilliant acting, like fearlessness amongst this whole cast and crew, and and they just they stand out to me as as sort of like like really really juicy tidbits, weirdly carnal. Oh, I think I think everyone else in the movie did a great job except for the brother. That's the the. I, there was something I about do, I think he made a choice and went with it. I kind of dug it. I don't know. Yeah, why. there was something guys... about his there was something about his performance and his character that it's just one of those things that I talk about on a fairly regular basis. It took me out of the movie. I yeah. started thinking mm-hmm. I started thinking about what he was doing as an actor. And as soon as I start thinking about what somebody's doing as an actor rather than their performance, you're not in the movie. I'm not in the movie. Right. Yeah. Right. Which is a trick but, because it was in Spanish. Uh, I don't see uh, that doesn't bother me. I, I hardly know. remember when I watch a subtitled movie later. I remember it in English in my head. It's like I also I understand yeah. a fair amount of Spanish. <laughs> so like this is a movie that I was even able to look away from and do stuff and not oh, really good. lose much of That's the plot great. because uh-huh. I can I can understand a decent amount. My my Spanish is so bad. My my wife and my mom are, you know fluent that I'm not allowed to speak it at home. <laughs> no, I do. Well, I'm then so you're terrible. gonna improve. Like, they're, sure. they're like, they're like, stop, stop. I can stop. ask. I can ask. I can ask for drugs. I can ask where a bathroom is, and I can order on a menu. And that's order about all I can do. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and I can tell somebody to go fuck themselves in yeah. several different ways. When I, when I took my road trip down through Baja, the one thing I remember that I had to learn really fast was Ijelo. 
Do you have ice? Because our, have cooler, ice. Yeah, the- <laughs> our ice was always melted in our cooler. Yeah, well, because it's like the Baja California. And it's fucking like hot. Yeah, I, exactly. I, I can't but you know, got you guys. This discussion has really opened up the film a little bit for me, in that now I get why the the bad brother is in there to form this contrast for the mother character as to he's the good son and he's here's the bad son and whether if the mother doesn't ring true for you immediately uh, then that's not going to ring true for you later no like, but you and, have to go back you have like to go the, back to that and, and then and, that makes sense I, I it, like makes, the mother, it, it makes I the whole like story the more story. cohesive for me whether or not you like that performance or way those right. scenes were staged i get why he's there now I, I like, like the mother's it, character. I like her. I like the actress. Yeah. I like the performance. Me too. Yeah. And I but think the other that thing, it's, I, I like the fact that she was the biological mother and raised him. But yeah. but but the but you know the, I, what I love is that he, she wasn't supposed to right. She no, was basically the a rich surrogate. parents, mm-hmm. right? And, yeah. and and he was born to this rich these rich people. But she still ended up raising him, which was so great. Right. I just think that's very cool. Yeah. I do feel like I've seen that story somewhere before. Yeah. Also, the, also yeah, the, I, know, yeah. I do too. The, the fact that you know the, uh, the El Tigre came in, raped her, and got killed basically, and they had to dispose of the body, uh, kind of thing. I think that's in there as a, in part of the plot to put Vera and the mother on the same side. Mm. Mm. Maybe a murder happened. Except, but she, but everywhere. the mother's never on her side. No, but I, I think that's why it's there, though. I think it's it may put it may put her in Banderas. And maybe this is Act One, uh, same side thing, because you don't know what Vera is in the first act. It may and, be it, yeah. it may it may be Banderas and and um, Vera being on the same side because he saved her. That could be very well. Yeah, could very well be. Yeah, there's some there's some love your savior on top of Stockholm syndrome thing mm-hmm. that goes on there. And then when he starts having sex with her, it reminds her of what he did. Mm-hmm. And then she says, "Oh, I can't because of the rape. I need lube." And then goes downstairs maybe still is even considering continuing to have sex with him mm-hmm. and then finds Boob the gun and gun Loop and then and goes gun. back Pretty upstairs much. And... i never I'm doubted still, for a second i'm still clueless as to what's going on at this point and i almost when i finished this movie and realized what i had just seen i'm like i think i gotta go watch this again because <laughs> wow like, so i just watched there were clues mm-hmm. at the oh, yeah. beginning that I just like went right over my fucking head. No, you're, <laughs> you're absolutely right because I saw it, like I said, when it came out, and then I just watched it again today, and okay. I was like, oh, was there it, it is. More, oh, there like, it is. Yeah, yep, there it is. Were, there, yeah, were the clues there the second time you saw it? Yes, 100%. Oh, yes, wow. Yeah. So it's kind of a Tarantino Pulp Fiction thing where you yeah, it's, just kind of laid in the first segment. I'm, yeah, you, I'm, there's I'm all so there. late for the party on this thing. Mm-hmm. There's a fucking, there's a, when, when, when Antonio and, and, and Vera are in bed, and he has his like memory and then the camera pans over to her there's literally like vicente flashback and he they look at each other yeah like, yeah they they fucking <laughs> yeah. oh and, the, and, and so the, it's, and it's, the it's so vera and vicente looking at each other and it, and you don't obviously you don't know this but they're the same person yeah right. as soon no. as and that's and great like, sleight of hand because you're gonna think totally oh they're different people for the next half hour it. yeah exactly <laughs> i'm totally not getting it mm-hmm. I, I no, think, no, I know you would not get like Scott said. You would not get that. But then when you watch it the second time, you go, "Holy shit!" <laughs> I think more of the, I think more of the clues clicked like for me. The second time, I think more of the clues clicked for me because I wasn't really enjoying myself. So I was trying to find things to grab onto in the movie. So I started going, "Okay, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on?" What's going on? You're that's all. That's, that's all I was oh, focusing I, on while I was, I was watching. The hell out yeah, because I because I wasn't. I was just. I was the the, the movie was floating around out the, here. But just the imagery I was going, alone, the imagery and the tone alone. It's well shot like enough for me to like it. It's well shot. The music is very good too. Well, these movies are always well shot. The well, music the music is very good. So with th- I'll get thumbs. Uh yeah no I I enjoyed it. Okay. I'm not a hundred percent down. Well, you know, I picked it for reasons John knows are obvious. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> these are kind of areas we explored before about about um, the genders and sexuality and um, what. Scott, had you seen did. it before you picked it? Uh, I seen it. I saw it like five years ago. Oh, you okay. Did, uh, so you had seen. Yeah, it. I had seen. I didn't it. Yeah. Seen it. Well, then after, after we broke the sensitivity program. Yeah, it was but... after. The thing is, came after. I was like, oh, is this going to cut into our market share here? Was, you know, but, <laughs> no uh, more so than uh, what was that uh, Michelle? Uh, oh, that terrible Rodriguez terrible, movie. The, the assignment. Fuck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that terrible, yeah, that. terrible movie. Uh, for like, well, for like, we three... watched at your house for like five minutes, and everyone decided to kill you. They would kill me <laughs> if I watched another second of it. <laughs> that was great. We're no, not. In, we're not worried. 
Well, that's why I was, that's why I picked it. 